Hey everybody, how you doing? This is episode two of Smithtown Live, and we are at NoCo with Joe Di Nicola. He's the owner of NoCo, and um, thanks for having us. This nice to see you, Jim. Yeah, great this to be awesome. here. So you have a really awesome, like, new concept here in St. James. Well, yeah. Where did you get the idea? Well, it's funny. It's a funny place. You know, this is the third restaurant that I've had in this this location. This actually was the original Del Fuego, where we're sitting right now, which right. was a prototype for what I have three other Del Fuegos at this point. Uh, and then down the road, we tried a Liberty Burger, my first restaurant that I closed ever in my life out of uh, my eight restaurants okay. that I own. Uh, I sold two. I had ten in total at one point. And uh, we wanted to go with a farm to table, which is it's a, a cheeky way of saying uh, locally inspired type of restaurant. There's no such thing as a real farm to table on Long Island. You do your best you can to buy as many local ingredients as you can. This time of year, we, you know, we're approaching winter. You get microgreens, uh, you get a lot of local seafood, but you really, it's the farms are uh, a little dormant at this point. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's true, but you're, you're you're sourcing locally grown foods from around the area. You know, not only locally gr grown foods, but everything local, whenever possible. Um, you know, all of the, our tradespeople are local. We use local St. James people for our blinds. We use local carpenters to build our bank cats. We use local uh, upholsterers and, you know, in general, as much local things as keep we can every, keep the economy close to home. Yeah, keep, keep the money circulating in the, in the community. That's Absolutely. Great. That's great. Um, so you mentioned eight or ten different restaurants. That's true, yeah. What's, how long have you been in the restaurant business? Quite some time. Uh, as an owner, over, over 20 years. Uh, my first Long Island restaurant, I had two in the city. Uh, prior to coming to Long, Long Island, uh, the first uh, Long Island restaurant was Ruvo and Greenlawn. Uh, then I went to Port Jeff, where another Ruvo, then La Tavola and Sayville, then the, the original Del Fuego, which right where we're sitting. Okay. Uh, I think you're in the bathroom actually right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> true story. Uh, and then where do we go? Then I went to Babylon, another Del Fuego, then Patchog, another Del Fuego, then I moved this Del Fuego across the street. Right. Open Liberty, and then an East Northport Del Fuego, and then Noco today. Okay. So this is a little different from the Tex-Mex or the Absolutely. Italian that you're... We, you know, the, I live in the area, as you know, and um, I thought the area needed a, a, an American, locally inspired, you know, higher end type cuisine, uh, focusing on Long Island wines, American wines and French wines. Uh, create some great cocktails. We have a cocktail bar just around the other side. Right, yeah. It's you know, the nice open kitchen. People can see what's going on. There's, yeah, no, there's no secrets that. and uh, keep it really fresh and, you know, elegant and fun. Yeah, no, it's got, it definitely has great ambiance and then being able to see people actually working and making the food, you know you're getting like top quality Food they can't smell service. through the camera yet, but you know the internet can't smell yet. But yeah, we don't have smell <laughs> yeah. vision on uh, on Facebook or YouTube, but we're working on that one. Um, so what's your what's your signature dish here at this restaurant? Well, w right now we're doing uh, Blue Point oysters. Uh, we do uh, uh, we do them fried. Uh, over an Asian slaw that I, I really think is wonderful, crispy oysters. Okay. Uh, and we're doing a crescent Long Island duck. Uh, a couple of different ways. We do a duck breast seared, and then we're doing also uh, a confit of duck, which is uh, uh, a French technique in cooking, in cooking duck in its own fats. Then we pull it and we make a risotto, which I think those are two fa fantastic Long Island uh, okay. ingredients. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and uh, you know, I love the tagatelli, which is, um, uh, it, we make a great fish stock with some um, uh, uh, shrimp and crab. Um, our scallops are fantastic. You know, I really stand behind everything we're doing here. Everything, okay. So it's like more of an American uh, Absolutely. Cuisine. And we have specials every day, and we bring right. in 
whatever we can get our hands on. Right, right, right. And they, I mean, the decorations and everything are really awesome. My brother and I designed it. We design all our own restaurants, and okay. usually yeah. it's inspired by one artist. So this restaurant, uh, I, I have no art. I had no art. And then I went home and I took a piece of my brother's artwork off the wall and I put it on the other side because <laughs> he helped me out a lot. Okay. Yeah, my brother Doug. That's cool. Yeah. Very good. So, yeah, obviously you've opened up a bunch of restaurants, you're a business owner, you're, and you're successful. Thank you. What do you, um, what's your best advice for a new business owner or a new restaurant owner coming into the area? But we, you know, we have a very, we have a high-end clientele in, 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 in Smithtown, St. James area, for sure, Stony Brook. Um, you know, we have the hospitals here, we have the university here. You know, we have a higher educated person. I think they want service. I think they want to be known. They want to be used, their names used. Okay. Um, you know, they want some hospitality if you're in the restaurant business. It's like a lost art today, you know, right. like, like real hospitality, greeting people saying hello, saying goodbye, getting eye contact, right. getting your staff to buy in on what you're doing. Uh, I think that's very important. I, you know, it, it goes back to basics, you know. Um, these are, with the level of competition that you have, with the amount of chains and the, and the malls and whatever else you may say, you know, the amount of, you know, uh, uh, corporate competition. If you want to be an individual business owner, you have to find a way to stand out so that right. you do something better that the chain than that then the chains are doing. So I go out to eat often and and you can have a great restaurant but like the service is lousy. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really a make or break. You know, your food has to be awesome, but the service and the the making the person feel like they mean something when they walk in the door. You know what I always say it's we do 95% right. Let's five. Let's find the 5% wrong that we do and make it better. And that's what separates you from the next person. Wow. Yeah. That's that's that in any business. That's absolutely. That's like such pivotal advice. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you very much. Thanks for stopping in.